That was the best endorsement I've ever had when I've come to speak. Can you come to all my conferences? It'd be great. No. Grant, so uh, my purpose is just to take five minutes to say hello, to say thank you for coming today. And just to say my colleagues and I are really glad you could join us. We know everyone's under massive pressure. We know budgets are under massive pressure. We know some people had to fill in 26 forms just to get their train tickets for today. So thank you very much for prioritizing some time to think and develop ideas. So I'm gonna talk about two things. Um, and I put my slides the wrong way around, so that's a good start for the day. I'm gonna talk what, about what you told us you wanted to change today, and then I'm gonna offer you three things to hold on to um, as you go through the sessions. So I was reflecting the other day that I have quite a weird job. I don't know if anybody else here has a peculiar job. You're just gonna leave me hanging? Yeah, okay, no, <laughs> excellent, there's at least four people. Um, you know, when you're at a party, or like a really exciting party where people ask you what you do for a living, and uh, you're in a group and someone says, I'm a teacher, I'm a lawyer, I work in a bank. And then I say, I work in social care and social work, innovation, improvement and ideation. And then I have to explain what social work is, and then I have to explain what social care is, then I have to explain what innovation is and what ideation is and what improvement is and how those things aren't actually the same. At this stage, they're pretty much edging for the drinks table or sometimes <laughs> the door. But the brave few that maintain the connection and go, right, I'm waiting to the end of this dull explanation, is they say similar things to me and they say things that I hear across our sector too. They tell me that innovation and improvement is basically luxuries. The system is in too big of a mess for us to do anything other than keep our heads down, focus on ourselves as individuals, as organisations, and ride out the storm. And the hope that somehow change is going to be easier in the future. So that got me thinking, maybe there was an ideal time to change social work and social care. But some of our biggest challenges, chronic under-resourcing, service fra fragmentation, blossoming bureaucracy, have really been with us for a very long time. And they continue to erode our core purpose as public servants, which is to support people to live the lives they want in the best way possible. So wherever that time was, we definitely missed it. However, as a wise friend said to me once when I was frustrated once again about the pace of change, the best time might have been then, but the next best time to make that change is now. So we at Iris are delighted to be in a room full of people who are really committed to doing just that. So thank you again. So we have a little bit of extra time. I don't have 15 minutes of remarks. So I'm going to do something that's going to horrify my fellow introverts. I'm going to ask you to talk to the person next to you and share what idea, hope or innovation it was you brought along today. And if you don't want to do that, you can complain about the fact that I just asked you to do that instead. <laughs> so if you just take five minutes, an eerie silence fell. <laughs> Apologies, that's the worst job of any facilitator, telling people to stop talking. I'm hoping there'll be lots more opportunities to chat through the day. So. What kinds of changes? I'm not going to go around all 50 odd of you saying what was your change or innovation or we will be here for a very long time. But when you registered for this conference, some of you told us the sorts of changes you wanted to make. So you said things like you wanted to do fundamental redesign, doing services very, very differently, both um, in terms of social work as an entirety. So thinking about how the profession works in a place based way, but also service specific changes such as changing family support, community support, care at home, fostering, adoption through care, um, a whole range of services from across the system that you were wanting to look at differently. Many people wanted to develop better interdisciplinary working and collaboration, and this was through from practice, so working with children and families with experience of abuse, through to procurement and commissioning and how we plan and write strategies about what we do in social care. A lot of you wanted to meet other, I like this phrase, change agents, which made me feel like I was in some fantastic uh, sort of film noir um, with a hat and everything. Or, um, so allies, you know, people to walk alongside them, to consider how to truly get ideas into practice and to work with that big challenge that we all face all the time, that of change exhaustion, that sense of burnout, drag of the system of people saying, really, are we going to have to change again? Actually, I have a lot on my plate. And those things will, we will touch on through the, door, through the day. And finally, one person had a really nice hope that I thought I would share uh, as we head into the day. I hope for social work and social care that just works for whatever people need and wherever they come from. And I thought that was something we probably held in common with us today. 
So why am I telling you all this and why am I asking you to share your ideas? Well, two reasons really. First is really to show the breadth of practical innovation and practical implementation ambition that there is in the colleagues in your sector, despite the storm we are living through. And secondly, this is how ideas are created. So when you think about innovation, you often think about the sort of lonely genius in a room, you know, maybe with a candle, having great ideas and discovering things. But actually, innovation often comes from where two disciplines or two professions overlap, from people talking um, from different parts of the system, maybe different parts of the world. So we're glad to have colleagues from Canada with us today and putting them together to apply them to the situations we're in. I'm going to be there. Oh. I appear to have no slides. I feel like this happened to me last time I was here. Hmm. It's back, brilliant. So what are those three things I was talking about? Well, they're very simple. We've promoted this conference as a day working with Iris, uh, not just a day having me talk at you. So there's three things really to carry through for today. In busy services, we focus on doing the work because we can't do anything else. So we never have time to think about improvement and honestly, innovation, that's not even on the to-do list. It's far too busy. So specifically, there's time today to think about the work that we do, how it could be better, how it could be different. The second point is making and sustaining change requires persistence and commitment. It is really very difficult and it's made a lot easier if you have people to walk alongside you. So I'm hoping there's uh, chances, both formal and informal today, to make those connections and find those colleagues. And finally, ideas in our sector often don't really see the light of day. Again, pressure of time, pressure of money, pressure of the system as is, because there's no space to work them out. You might have a chat with a friend over coffee about it, but it never comes through to implementation. So we have spaces today, unstructured and structured, to help you do spend some time working on those ideas, uh, those things that you've wanted to put into practice. So please, take time through the day to make connections with others, take some time to think. This is a great setting, there's nice grounds, there's places to work if you're not super social. Say hi to the Iris team, tell us about your ideas, tell us about your challenges, tell us about your hopes for the future. Please also load up on the extensive snacks and caffeine that will be available throughout the day. We had some drop offs, so there will be a serious amount of biscuits. So please make your best endeavours and use the time and space in the way you need to to develop the change and improvement that we all want to see. <laughs>